Do you still believe canned tuna is one of the cheapest and safest foods in America? Sorry to break it to you, but today you might have to rethink everything you've ever put in a sandwich. Some cans proudly say premium on the label, yet inside lurk bacteria that can cause paralysis. And that's not all. Many brands have been exposed for colluding to hike up prices tricking consumers for decades without anyone realizing. As for quality, some cans hit you with a stench the moment you open them like stagnant sewer water. Think you're eating fish? In reality, it's mostly fillers and additives. You think you're getting a good deal, but the truth is, this industry only cares about profits, not your health. This video will uncover five canned tuna products you must avoid at all costs and reveal two brands you can actually trust to eat every day. Watch until the end, because what you've been keeping in your pantry might not be as harmless as you think. Number one, Genova Van Camps and Trader Joe's. Now to the canned tuna re recall. Cans of tuna sold at Trader Joe's, Walmart, and other supermarkets have been recalled because of botulism risk. I really don't want to disappoint you, but here's the truth. No big brand cares about your health except you. And canned tuna is one of the easiest ways they take your money while you still happily drop it in your cart. Cans from Genova Van Camps or Trader Joe's always sit neatly on the shelf lids, shiny with labels like Mediterranean style or yellowfin tuna in olive oil that look fancy enough to have come straight out of an Italian kitchen. But you might get chills when you realize this, those very metal lids you thought were convenient are the source of deadly health risks. And this isn't speculation, the FDA has confirmed it. Check your pantry. The FDA says Tri Union Seafoods is recalling canned tuna due to a possible botulism contamination. It all started with what seemed like a small flaw. The easy open lid design was defective, letting air seep into the can, creating the perfect environment for one of the most dangerous bacteria, Clostridium botulinum. The real danger here isn't just contamination. It's contamination with no smell, no taste, no sign of spoilage at all. Which means you could mix it into your salad with a smile on your face, not knowing you're feeding your body the very bacteria that causes paralysis. Botulism is not your typical food poisoning. It doesn't give you stomach cramps, it paralyzes your muscles, including the ones you need to breathe. In other words, a single can of tuna could literally stop you from breathing. And guess what the brands knew about errors in their packaging and shipping process? They even knew the risk it posed if the products hit the market. But they simply pretended not to know. Why? Because the profits are just too big. Admitting the problem issuing warnings, recalls, and fixing it would cost these companies more than the product itself. So they look the other way and you're left to deal with the consequences. Think I'm exaggerating. Look up these product codes. Genova Yellowfin Tuna in Olive Oil 5 Oz, Kenlot Code 2403C, or Van Camp's Chunk Light Tuna Code 2404D. Every one of them made the urgent recall list for being potentially deadly without any obvious signs. So let's ask again. Are you still comfortable cracking open a can of tuna with your bare hands without a second thought like you used to? And here's one detail almost no one talks about. Trader Joe's, the place many people see as a paradise for healthy foods, is right there on the affected list. Do you see how wrong that is? If even Trader Joe's can't guarantee basic safety for its customers, then who exactly can you trust in the world of canned food? Comment below if you've ever bought from any of these three brands. And be honest, did you ever eat it without reading the label? You're not alone. But after today, no one can say they didn't know. Number 2. Starkist some names show up so often that we just assume they're safe. And if there's any canned tuna brand that could be called America's Tuna, it's Starkist. Millions of Americans grew up with Starkist. Those familiar cans sat quietly in kitchen cupboards, carried people through college meals, office lunches, and even those end-of-the-month dinners when the bank account was running dry. A name that brings back memories. A habit that lasted for decades. But that habit is betraying you. Did you know Starkist was convicted for price fixing across the United States? And this wasn't some blogger's claim, it was the US government that investigated and found Starkist colluding with competitors to secretly inflate prices forcing millions of Americans to pay more without realizing it. Not an accident, a deliberate organized scheme that ran for years. Starkist chose profit no matter who paid the price, and the fine, $100 million. They paid it. 
to keep things quiet, to stay out of court, to keep the business running. Do you see what's wrong here? They didn't slip up. They did it on purpose. And we, the people who trusted this as a cheap and safe staple, are the ones who suffered. Don't say, but at least the tuna is still edible. Are you sure about that plenty of customers have complained about a strong fishy smell, a sour aftertaste tuna flakes that fall apart like mush? Some say it feels like old frozen fish that lost its texture. Others even said they crunched into fine sand. Starkist claims they run strict quality control. So why are some cans fine and others awful? Why does tuna, a fish packed with protein, sometimes taste like it has no flavor at all? And why while prices climb higher does the quality keep dropping? This isn't just a matter of taste. It's about a brand that was once trusted exploiting that very trust for profit. Are you feeding your memories with nothing more than a can full of false trust? Comment below if you ever picked up Starkiss just because it felt familiar. And if you like me feel insulted by a brand that's been part of American life for so long, then maybe it's time to take it out of your kitchen. Number three, Bumblebee. Bumblebee Foods recalling more than 31,000 cases of chunk light tuna. So this tuna right here, it's being recalled because there might be some issues with contamination. Some brands are so old that just seeing the name feels reassuring. Bumblebee is one of them. It's not just a canned tuna brand. For many Americans, Bumblebee is a memory. It's the quick meal parents threw together before rushing kids off to school. It's the can that made its way into sandwiches during unemployment years. It's the familiar sight in the pantry every hurricane season. But now those memories are being twisted. Because the brand you once trusted has quietly been changing in the worst possible way. No one told you that Bumblebee secretly altered its recipe, adding fillers into the fish meat, turning what seemed like a wholesome meal into a questionable mix. Many people have noticed that today's Bumblebee tuna no longer holds together in chunks. Instead, it falls apart like it's been ground to mush. The liquid in the can sometimes has a strange film and the smell is oddly close to watered-down cat food. Have you seen that yourself? If you have, it wasn't your imagination. And here's the hardest part to accept. The company never explained why the quality changed. They stayed silent. They knew customers would keep buying because the name was too familiar. So they cut costs, cut quality, and kept the same price tag. You're paying for a can of tuna that might be only 70% fish with the rest being anyone's guess. Did you know Bumblebee filed for bankruptcy in 2019? And to save the brand, they sold it to a foreign conglomerate that also owns many cheap processed food labels around the world. So the question is this. After changing owners, is this company still loyal to the standards Americans once trusted? Or are they exploiting that trust to push out cans of tuna that barely resemble fish at all? At this point, it's not about the taste or the texture anymore. It's about how a brand that once stood for stability has now become a symbol of disregard. Number four, chicken of the sea. If you need canned tuna, go with the slightly more expensive option. Because if you grab the cheapest one on the shelf, don't be surprised if what you bring home isn't really tuna at all, but a blatant bait and switch. Chicken of the Sea has fooled countless Americans into believing they were eating quality tuna simply because the name sounded friendly and clean. The mermaid logo and the image of a ship on the label made it look like it came straight from pristine blue waters. But that's just the outside. What about inside? Do you know one of the classic tricks Chicken of the Sea was caught using? Mixing scraps of fish, white fish leftover bits, right into the can, then slapping on the label, chunk light tuna, that means it wasn't whole cuts of tuna. It wasn't even 100% tuna. It was just enough to avoid a lawsuit, but never enough to respect the consumer. And it doesn't stop there. Many customers reported the tuna had a mushy, watery texture like it had been overcooked and then pressed back together. Some tests even found mercury levels dangerously close to the safety limit, especially in the chunk light and oil line. For older adults, people with heart conditions, or those watching their sodium, this tuna isn't just useless, it's a health hazard. Because the sodium levels are abnormally high. Some samples measured up to 360 milligrams in just 2 ounces, nearly 20% of the recommended daily intake. So here's the question. How does a brand that claims seafood with integrity allow products like this to hit the shelves? Could it be they didn't know? Not a chance. 
Chicken of the Sea has already had to recall products after metal fragments were found in cans, including small steel blades from the lids. That's not an accident. That's a system failure. And that system is still running. Canned food was supposed to be for people looking to save money to feel safe for those who didn't have many options. Instead, Chicken of the Sea turned it into a trap filled with chemicals risks and swapped out ingredients. Cheap doesn't have to mean cheapened. But with everything this brand has been doing, it forces us to ask, is this even food anymore or just something sealed in a can to legalize greed? Number five, Good and Gather Canned Tuna. Target's exclusive brand has been flying off the shelves. Not because of quality, but because it pretends to be quality. They don't tell you what kind of tuna it is. No fishing region, no certification seal, no transparent information at all about what you're actually eating. Everything is just barely enough not to raise alarms, just enough not to get sued. Consumers see the bright packaging and the cozy name and assume it's a healthy choice. But inside is nothing more than shredded fish, thin strands, soggy and mushy. Many people say the moment they open the can, they're hit with a strange fishy odor and a greasy liquid that looks like cloudy water that's been sitting too long. And the scariest part isn't the taste. It's the fact that you don't know what you're eating, and you're not even allowed to ask. Target hasn't released any testing data. No independent group has verified the source of the fish. And the product itself doesn't tell you whether it's safe for people with high blood pressure or those on special diets. All of it is wrapped under a name that sounds like a lullaby good and gather. The softer it sounds, the more dangerous it is. This isn't a brand anymore. It's a mask. And if you don't pull that mask off in time, what you're eating today may be far more than just tuna. After all the deception, corner cutting, and fake transparency I've just laid out, you might start to think there's no brand left you can trust. But there are. At least two names have not betrayed you. Number 1. Safe Catch. In a sea of brands obsessed with profit, Safe Catch feels like a relic from a time when food was made for people to eat, not for companies to trick them. You won't see them blasting promotions, no flashy cans, no loud displays at Walmart. But if you've ever picked up a can of Safe Catch and looked closely at the fine print on the label, you'll understand why this name still has a place in kitchens of people who pay attention. They don't make promises. They give you numbers. Safe Catch is the only tuna company in America today that tests every single tuna for mercury before canning. Not batch testing, not sample testing, every single fish. That's not a slogan. That's a cost. A cost they choose to carry so you can have the safety other brands don't even bother mentioning. Anyone worried about mercury on a strict diet for heart health or caring for someone who's pregnant knows the value of that. And it doesn't stop there. Safe Catch doesn't use fillers, brine, or cheap oils. What's in the can is 100% tuna. No scraps, no mush, no chemical flavorings. They use low heat and longer cooking times to preserve the protein and moisture, a process far more demanding than the pressure cook and pack shortcuts most big brands rely on. People often say real food doesn't need advertising. Safe Catch is living proof. You don't trust them because they talk a good game. You trust them because they don't hide a thing. Their website openly lists the average mercury levels of each product line. They have batch codes you can trace, independent certifications, a clear list of fishing regions. And they absolutely refuse to buy from disputed waters or abusive industrial fleets. And if you're still skeptical, just open a can and see for yourself. The fish flakes are firm, not mushy. The aroma is light and natural. No chemical smell, no fake flavoring. It doesn't shock you, it just lets you exhale. Because in a world where food has become something you have to question with every word on the label, a can of tuna that doesn't need fancy claims is a luxury in itself. You don't have to believe anyone. Just look closely, and you'll understand why careful people choose safe catch. Number 2. Wild Planets Skipjack Tuna If you want to know whether a can of tuna is truly trustworthy, don't look at the packaging design. Look at the smallest details they dare to print. Wild Planet never calls their product perfect, but there's one thing they do that most people overlook. They list the exact species, the waters it was caught in, and the method of fishing. Simple, clear, straightforward, not for show, but so you can actually verify it. For many Americans, Wild Planet isn't a familiar name. They don't run flashy ads, they're not sitting in the center aisle at Target, and their cans aren't designed to sparkle. 
But for anyone who reads labels carefully and understands the weight of the phrase Poland line caught. Skipjack this brand stands out as one of the few that still respects traditional responsible fishing. Why does that matter? Because this method eliminates mass netting, reduces the chance of stressed or contaminated fish, and most importantly prevents mixing in larger tuna species, which are the main culprits for high mercury. You can taste the difference when you open the can, not the usual oily mush so common with other brands. Instead, you get thick, rough-cut chunks of fish pale in color without that harsh fishy smell or oily film floating on top. The first bite might feel unusual because it doesn't taste like the tuna you're used to. And that's exactly why Wild Planet isn't for everyone. If you're hooked on heavily seasoned oily tuna, this will seem bland. But that's the point. It's the original flavor. No additives, no masking, no factory tweaks. You get to season it the way you want, not the way a factory recipe dictates. Wild Planet isn't cheap. But when a brand is willing to state the exact waters their fish came from, promise not to source from destructive fisheries and preserve the natural structure of the tuna, instead of grinding it into paste, you know, they're not targeting the careless majority. They're aiming at the people who still care enough to choose wisely. Because sometimes what makes a brand trustworthy isn't that they tell you what you want to hear, but that they don't hide what others refuse to say. We once believed canned food was the safe solution, especially when money was tight. But after everything that's been exposed, maybe that trust deserves a second look. Canned tuna still has a place in American kitchens. But not every can is really tuna. And not every brand deserves a seat at your table. If you've ever skipped over the fine print, today might be the time to stop and look closer. Because the price you pay for the wrong choice is no longer as cheap as the low price on the label. This video does not promote division within the United States or encourage education. All content is presented for the purpose of exploration, analysis, and fostering discussion based on current events, public sentiment, and social trends. We fully respect the United States Constitution and all federal regulations. If today analyzes, might you think, drop a comment so we can keep the conversations going. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you will never miss our next independent deep dive.